The Obsidian Daily Note feature has many different uses and applications. Some people use it like the daily notes in Rome research. Other people use it for you know, keeping track of what they've done throughout the day. Personally, I use the daily notes feature to plan my day using Donald Miller's Storyline Productivity System that he invented way back in about 2013. So today I'm going to give you an overview of the daily notes feature, how you can set it up, what the Storyline Productivity System is and why it's a good system and why I use it. And then also like go through exactly the details of that system and also show you how you can set up this system for yourself as well. Let's dive in. So as you can see here, I've opened up Obsidian and in the left hand column, there is the daily notes icon. And if I tap this, it will open up my daily notes with the content already filled in. Now to set this up, go into settings, go into core plugins, because this, the daily notes is a core plugin and come down to uh, find where it is daily notes, turn it on, then go into daily notes and set up the settings as you like. For the date format, I stick with year, month, day because it organizes it very nicely with files. For a new file location, I've created um, a folder called day notes. So all my daily notes are put there. They're out of the way of the other stuff. And then I have a template file, templates storyline template. I'll share that in the links below. I personally don't have the daily notes start up when I open the app. I like to, uh, I often keep the app open and I, you know, I like to do it myself as well. Uh, so there we go. That's basic system for how to set it up. Now, if I go into my templates, you can see storyline note and it's here. This is just a markdown file, which I've created. Uh, and in fact, it's actually based on a version of the markdown file that I made way back in, uh, let's see, 2014, February 2014. Uh, but I've updated it slightly. Uh, originally, I was using Text Expander and Day One, but now I'm doing this uh, in uh, Obsidian. So if I click Open Today's Daily Note, it doesn't create a new daily note, it sticks with the same daily note as before. So that is how to set up a daily note and the basics of it. Now the Storyline Productivity Schedule. So this was an idea invented by Dolphin back in 2013, and it was based on some principles of uh, logotherapy from Viktor Frankl. And trying to help people be more productive, get their writing done was originally why Donald created it. And uh, yeah, there are some psychological principles and bases in there that can help you work through things. Since being updated, and if you go to his website, Hero on a Mission, part of Business Made Simple, you can uh, download the planner, which is a PDF version of this yourself. I like having it though in Obsidian though. So. so let's go through the features and we can see why this is useful and how it works. So it starts off by saying your life plan or your mission statement for yourself. So my one here is to glorify God through learning, creating and sharing. That's my mission statement. That is what my guiding principles in everything I do. I want to be glorifying God. And these are the three kind of expressions. Sharing has that double meaning. So it's like both publishing stuff and spreading it out there, such as sharing these YouTube videos. But it also has that meaning of trying to be generous and more uh, hospitable to people as well. Uh, now, next I have this section, which is my current SPS sprint goal. So this is something I've been doing with my friend Chad Moore. Uh, we have this thing called side project sprints, where we encourage each other and we set goals for our sprint, uh, for two week sprints. And then we, you know, check in, we have daily check-ins with each other during the stand up. And so I have this embedded. And if you look in the preview, I can go through and see all my, uh, all my goals for this current sprint. Uh, and I have that there in front of me. So when I come to my daily note each day, I can look at those goals, look at what I'm supposed to be focusing on for this two week sprint. And that can help inform me what I should put into the next part. So the next part is the primary tasks. There are three primary tasks here. And I should set a time estimate and a rest and reward for each task. So these are like uh, the big rocks. If you're familiar with this principle, there should be 
big project, something that will take you, you know, an hour and a half at least, or something that's really important. When I first started doing this back in 2013, I would have stuff like uh, go to the bank, because I hated going to the bank in Spain and having to like deal with people in Spanish. Um, and that would often be like one of my primary tasks because I put it off for so long, um, but it felt so good to have accomplished that primary task. Nowadays, it's more things like, you know, publish a video, uh, write a script for something, um, set, spend some time doing some administration or something like that. Working on a project would work as well. Uh, okay, so then once we set that up, uh, it's really important to do the time estimates and it's also good if you then also record how long it actually took rather than how long you predict because that helps, helps you calculate how long things should be. And then set a rest and reward so it's like, you know, carrot and stick kind of thing. Um, after that we have the, uh, if I could do today again, I'd. And this is based on Viktor Frankl's uh, logotherapy where he had this principle of if we look to the future and imagine ourselves looking back, then that can help inform us uh, now what we should do and what we really value, what we really want to prioritize. So I have some regular things that I put down here, which include things like stay cool, stay focused, uh, make, um, you know, make some progress quickly on certain tasks. And I have these principles because I know that if I stay calm, by the end of the day, I'll feel a lot better. I know that if I stay focused, I'm gonna get through my work a lot better. And I know that if I make some early <laughs> achievements, I'm gonna feel a lot better and feel positive as well, which will help me stay more productive in the afternoon. And, uh, and there can be other things that go in here as well. Uh, something like, you know, I really wanna work on this thing. I don't wanna neglect that thing. I wanna make sure I get this uh, task, going to the bank, done soon, or something like this. Um, it's, it's interesting what comes up, you never know what will happen during the day. Uh, things I get to enjoy, this again is kind of linked with rest and rewards, often they're similar things, they're the same things, but it's a, it's a gratitude practice as well, which as we know, like helps improve your mood, helps you stay more focused and more productive as well. And then appointments. So actually quite often I put appointments first because I'll look at my workday calendar and see, you know, have I got a call coming up? Uh, you know, do I have one-to-ones? Do I need to put these down so that I'm, I'm ready to speak to these people? Is there something in the evening that I need to be aware of? Um, you know, being married, it's quite useful to put down my wife's appointments as well. Uh, and that's just, awareness of what's going to take up time you know sometimes if there are lots of small meetings you I'm not going to be able to do big massive primary tasks during the day and then the final part here is secondary tasks and so these are tasks throughout the day which could be something really small send an email call someone ask about this or that and at this point you know I'm looking at my uh, my task manager to do it and bringing in things from that now sometimes I also like to add in a day log where I can just link to notes that I create during the day and uh, those can be useful references. Right now I'm just going to fill in my daily task for today and then I'll move on from there. So there you have it, here's just an example day. You know, it's a fairly unusual day for me, which has made it a bit more difficult to write. I don't really want to show you my actual task list, so I'm going to do that and fill this in a bit more afterwards. Uh, but yeah, there are some ideas of, of things and hopefully that's giving you an example of how you could use the Storyline template or the Daily Notes uh, feature for your own system. If you want to download uh, the Storyline template, then I'll include a link to download it below so that you can get your own copy. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe if you have and I'll see you in the next one.